current positions, buy, hold, or sell rating. Starting off with BioLace. Let's look at the technicals for BioLace really quickly. We are bleeding on the day down 3%. Now, we did break this level of rectangular support. We are currently trying to get back there. Okay, uh, how much of this dump was just because of the markets? It's not really clear. But, guys, this is not a technical analysis full breakdown for these stocks. This is just a buy, hold, or sell ratings and some maybe some quick reasoning as to why. So, let's look at my actual rating. We're looking at a uh, 9999. Okay, that's what we're looking at. Okay, I know this is not necessary. But that's, you know, I just want to emphasize that this is an extreme, extremely auspicious load up zone, in my opinion. As you can see, I'm in the red. Let's take a look at my position in BioLace right now. Uh, down $132, 5% cost, co total cost is my second to highest total cost. Okay, highest is, uh, is BioNano and then BioLace. Guys, that tells you how bullish I am on this company, all right? That tells you all you need to know. I'm not selling. One of the biggest reasons, before we get to the next one, that I'm not selling is because this is a recovery play. This is a long-term play. This is short-term upside is there with this cup and handle. Okay, well, this is obviously a cup and handle, okay? This is the price target over $2. Okay, not, okay, almost over two. It's close to $2. Okay, we're at $1. So, you know, 50% increase ish. Okay, so that's enough upside for me short term to stay in the stock. Once we break out, confirm the breakout, high chance of getting this price target soon. Also, long term, let's take a look at my price target. It's $4 bear case. Okay, guys, come on, come on. That's close. That's like, what is that? Is that a, is that a three X, two to two to four X, two to three X, I think? Full case is way more than that. Okay, guys, that's enough said on that one. Next up, Microvision. This is a five right now. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. What the heck? Microvision, you're super bullish. Yes, of course I'm super bullish on Microvision. Let's take a look at the four hour chart. Okay. I got in. I literally timed this one perfectly, actually. This does not happen. And do not think I'm going to do this all the time. But I got in basically right here. Uh, and I sold, um, I think I sold most of my position. I, I think I sold it like right around here, I think. But yeah, I still have a, I still have a position. My average is now 9.5K nine, 9 because I sold most of my shares and added a little bit on the dip. But I was in here uh, at seven, mid sevens. So, but right now, guys, this is not really a load up because there's other stocks with more auspicious, uh, short term outlooks. Okay. Uh, long term, this is a good long, this is a good, good long term buy. But just if you're going to, if you're going to buy this, you know, adding shares is probably fine right here because we will probably see some upside very soon. We did, you know, we were at $24. Now we are cooling off in the $19, $20 range. But guys, long term, this is going to, Okay, my price target end of your bear case 30k end of your bull case 60k i probably need to update this i'm actually probably gonna i might change that honestly um okay this is probably the, the bull case is probably much higher than that in my opinion uh if they get bought out we're going to, we're going to 100 plus in my opinion okay but this is a very safe stock but only thing i will say with this one if you're gonna buy here and establish your first position just be ready for another dip because guys we've gone up from seven dollars to twenty dollars and uh, literally like not even two weeks of trading. So that's why it's not as high as these other ones. Okay. Next up, we're looking at Mora. Let's look at the Bitcoin plays. Okay. This is a, this does mirror, mirror Bitcoin. Okay. You may be wondering, okay. I, oh, by the way, full transparency, this is not actually my current position. I do not have a, uh, a whole, I do not have a position in the stock. I did, I did sell, unfortunately. This is one of them I'm regretting. I sold right around here. I sold right around here. Yeah, I sold. We were selling off right here. Um, I sold pretty much all of it. Yeah, because I had an insane profit, and I sold out completely. I thought, you know, I thought we were gonna. I thought we were due for a pullback. Obviously, it was totally wrong. Totally wrong. I wish I stayed in, but you know, obviously, I took that money and then put it in HETC and uh, Microvision. Obviously, so I'm not feeling too bad. But you know, I did miss. I did miss the call on this one. This is not really a buy zone though for me. Okay. I want to see this pull back way more before I start putting my money in this. Okay. Because this has gone up from, from $15. By the way, I was in here at $15 right here. I was loading up on this tip. By the way, I was waiting forever, forever to get this. Okay. Not forever. That's actually really short term. Don't expect this to happen even where it is now, let alone back here. Okay. So never complain if it's something is moving slow, like BioLace. Don't complain about that. In my opinion. Just wait, be patient. You will make money if you've done due diligence properly. Okay, but this is uh, th this needs to cool off a little more, in my opinion. Okay, look at the RSI. Let's look at the daily RSI. Okay, we're not, we're not even too over. We're not even close to neutral. We're still above seventy, guys. We're extremely overbought. So just be careful. Next up, BioNano. Okay, I already did a video on this. I'm not going to say much. All I will say.
is that this is an extreme opportunity. This is an extremely auspicious opportunity. Um, oh wow, we are currently trying to trying to break out of this uh, previous level of support. Now it is going to be resistance, but again, with this, it's kind of weird because the markets did dump. Okay, we are. Gosh dang, the markets scare me so much when they go down like this because there's so much fear in the market. Oh my gosh, but. Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is a strong buy. This is an extremely strong buy. Okay. I th I, if you don't understand what this means, okay, this, a 10 is the highest. Okay. This is more than a 10. All right. This is like, uh, this is trillions. The, I don't even know. Septillions, right? This is, I can't even say what number that actually is. There's too many nines. Okay. Um, so this is an extreme buy. Next up, Materials Corporation. I did sell this one as well. These two, every, on, okay, these are my current positions, current positions, but uh, I do not have a position in Mora or Materials Corporation. I am looking to get in when they dip enough. Okay. So full transparency there. This is, I already hit the price target. I already sold when I hit the price target. Um, but this is not really a buy either. Let's look at my main watch list here, see if I can find it. Okay, it is way down here, and I do have a thousand stocks in here. Okay, here's this one, Materials Corporation. Wow, we are breaking out. Okay, I, as you can see, I haven't even updated this chart in a while. Okay, let's look at this. Let's look at the four-hour. Let's actually update this. Okay, so this one's not really a buy. This is a great long-term hold, but guys, I would wait for a pullback maybe on this one. Okay, this is not, there's really not much to say here, okay? Um, this is, yeah, I would wait for a pullback on this one. This is an amazing company. This could go to $50 really quickly. This will probably do great things uh, medium term. This probably, this will not be, a, I, I don't see this being a long-term hold for me. Uh, when I say long-term, I mean like years, like maybe a year I could hold this if till the end of the year, but probably not longer than that. Okay, next up, nano dimension this is a, this is might be the biggest obvious easiest money play right now if you want to make some money i recommend getting in on nano dimension we are extremely oversold let's look at the hourly rsi uh we're at 38 we're at 38 on the hourly rsi two hourly 36 four hourly 34 okay daily is going to be a little skewed because it you know that's just how it is okay we're at basically neutral okay that's the RSI sometimes when you have stocks like this, daily RSI is a little, a little, uh, not, not the most informative in my opinion. Okay. But we are extremely oversold. This is their strong buy in my opinion. This is going to $40 bear case, $80 to $100 bull case. Uh, AGTC, this is a six. Okay, from all my bulls on AGTC, I love this company. And when this actually is bullish news, we did bounce off this trend line right here, even with the markets dumping. This is an extremely bullish sign. This, this stock has, has shown extreme, extreme strength. Uh, and I've timed this one perfectly as well. Okay, this one is similar to my vision. I got in right when it was the perfect time. Okay, guys, because this is why. Okay, we had a bull pennant back here. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Okay, we had a bull pennant. I entered, right? I entered on this ascending level of support. Okay, you can see my average is still the same. I've, I've taken profits on like most of my position i have a small position now let's see what my cost basis is or cost to total cost um nine hundred dollars okay you see that okay i'm up 50 percent. i was up like 80 percent a couple of days ago or yesterday something like that okay i've taken profits on this um there's really not much else to say okay but but as far as entry points as far as entry points This is actually not a bad entry point, but guys, we are in this bull pennant. And as long as we trade side, if we trade sideways here, guys, you already know the price target. Okay. You actually don't, but this is the price target. Okay. This is the trend line. This is how we, this is how we measure a price target. Price target is going to be above $10. That's, that's close to, that's like 50%. Okay. If we're like seven, that's like 50% increase right there. This, you know, this is a great long term hold, great insider ownership, institutional buying, a uh, good business model. So this is a great company. Uh, your entry points to watch if you want to get in. Seven dollars, uh, going up to the after hours close. Seven dollars and thirty six cents. K anywhere. Seven dollars twenty eight cents to seven dollars and thirty thirty six cents. Roughly anywhere in that range is going to treat you extremely well, unless the markets dump. Uh, okay, look at this. Okay, I just said. I literally just said a couple. This is what I'm scared of. This is what I'm. This is what I'm scared of. Okay, but long term, don't be scared. Okay, I'm not scared. Long term, short term, I am scared, but. Um, yeah, long term, I'm not selling. I don't care if this goes all the way down to here again or lower. Okay, I'm holding. I'm holding all my shares. We are bleeding a little bit, as you can see, obviously. Okay. Um, but 
The only thing with this one is if, if we continue to dump, if the market continues to dump, I would look to enter lower. But if this continues bouncing off the support, look for an entry on this ascending level and ride the breakout when it does break out very soon. Next up is MJ. This is an ETF that tracks cannabis. This is an amazing style. There's really not much to say for the cannabis ones. I mean, we've already been over these. Okay. But this is a buy zone. This is a huge buy zone. Okay. If you want a low risk stock, this isn't even, this is an ETF. Okay. This is like a bunch of cannabis stocks. This is one of the most volatile ETFs ever. Okay. As you can see, you know, we were at $35 and then we went to 25. Okay. That's like what, like a 30%, 20, 30% decrease in a day for an ETF. Okay. Exchange traded fund. This is an extremely volatile ETF, but this is a load up zone. Load up on this stock. The only reason why it is not a 9999 is because these other stocks, in my opinion, will all offer much higher higher return which with a little with not that much added risk in my opinion okay this is the lowest risk materials corporation and this one lowest risk in my opinion okay and remember medium 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 okay these are all penny stocks the except microvision is not a penny, penny stock right but these are pen, these are medium risk on my personal valuations risk evaluations compared to each other essentially okay um Typically, these would all be called high risk. Okay, in my my view, not really. You know, I mean, they are they are high risk technically, but I've done the due diligence. I know where these are going. Unless the market dumps or the CEO gets shot or some unrealistic thing happens like that, these are hitting the price targets in my opinion. But we will see. I can always be wrong. Um, so this is a load up zone for MJ. Next up, this is okay. This is an insurance play, so we're just going to skip that entirely. TLRY. This is a huge buy zone. Okay, I actually recommend TLRY. Um, instead of uh, e uh, the ETF, MJ, because this has just so much more upside, in my opinion, and it's not that high risk. This is a proven stock, in my opinion. They've got a great business model. They've got a ton of things going for them. They've got high insider ownership and institutional ownership. Um, and, you know, I don't have a huge position in here, but let's look at my account. Uh, this pretty much my total cost essentially shows you how bullish I am on each company. Kind of not really though, because you know, Microvision, uh, my total cost is only a thousand and I'm extremely bullish on them. Um, okay. But let's take a look at TLRY. Okay. $800. Look at the other cannabis one, Sundial Grower, only 400 and the ETF is 500. Okay. So this is the one I'm most bullish on. And when it comes to the cannabis sector, okay, the market's trying to recover. Um, so this is a load up zone. In my opinion, this is a huge buy zone. Next up CTRM. It is only a six. Okay. This is actually, honestly, this is probably higher than a six, but we did just have a run up this morning after I made that video on it. Okay. Let's take a look at the charts. We are up a little bit. We did break out. We are looking to confirm this, please. We are looking to confirm this. Come on. This is a small position though. I have an extremely small position in here, only $340, 2% of my portfolio. I'm down $10, down 3%. So, you know, we will see what happens. I wish I caught that dip. I wish I timed the dip more, more accurately. Okay. I was looking to get in on this 38.2% retracement level. Man, it would be nice if I could have gotten here, but you know, I will take it. Why am I not panicking? Why do I not care really? I mean, I care, but I am not panicking. I'm not worried, not stressing about it because this stock is going three dollars bear case end of year and five to ten dollars bull case that is why i've done the research i've done the due diligence guys this is a good company this is also a recovery play this is a recovery play um this is a little bit of a recovery play this is a big recovery play that i don't even mention about okay they're having a hard time selling their dragonfly actually because there's so little uh interaction between humans now because you know masks and covid right so these three uh this one this one and biolace those are recovery plays this is a recovery play and that's probably that that's probably the recovery plays but this one is a big long-term hold for me um that's why i have it as a six right now but that's why i have the price targets okay you can buy this this is still a good buy right anything in the green is good right so but there are better options on this list, in my opinion, than CTRM. You would be chasing a little bit if you're buying right now. We are already up 7% on the day, right? But next up, CTXR. Let's take a look at CTXR. This one I am. This is an interesting stock right here, CTXR is. Okay, I did. I am down on this one as well. I'm down. Uh, I'm down 1% basically. The only, I was down way more than that. Um, we are up on the day. That's why I'm not down so much. But I was down like 5 percent maybe more on this one okay i am pretty bullish on this one though okay i i have a total cost of 500 dollars. i put more money in this one than i did on ctrm and sundial and the ctf right okay 
3% of my portfolio. You know, not a big position, right? These are my big dogs right here. Okay. These four, these and AGTCK, look, though the market value is more actually accurate. Okay. These four, these five, these are my big ones and TLRY and the whole cannabis sector. These ones, you know, these, I'm extremely bullish. I'm extremely bullish on this stock. Do not get me wrong, but it's not exactly a huge position of mine. As you can see, it's only 3% of my portfolio. Okay. But this is an, this is a buy zone in my opinion. Sundial growers, this is a buy zone in my opinion. The only thing I will say with this one, let's take a look at the charts. Even though it looks exactly like the other ETFs, okay, essentially, this looks exactly, this looks identical, essentially, okay. We are kind of breaking below this trend line, but with Sundial, this is an extremely high risk, high reward, okay. I do have it as medium because the only reason I have it as medium and not high because it's in the cannabis sector, and I think the cannabis sector has a thousand reasons to do even better than expected as far as projected growth over the next five years and no reasons not to, in my opinion. I did go more in depth on this in the Sundial growth which I will probably add as a card in the top right right now. Um, but this is a huge buy zone in my opinion. If you'd like to go check that video out, I will go explain in depth more why the cannabis sector is going that high in my opinion. Uh, if relevant information in regards to the title is finished now, feel free to click off my friends if you have better things to do. Extra useful information. This is the top tier of YouTubers in my opinion. Do not get mad if your YouTuber is not here. Do not get mad if I leave your YouTuber out or something. Okay, these are the highest uh, other YouTubers that are these this is basically my ranking of them okay this is just my opinion i'm not taking a side i'm not i'm not taking shots okay <laughs> i'm not firing shots off okay this is just my opinion based on what i've seen from these people okay they're all good people right um there's a ton of good youtubers that are not on here and i haven't i don't know all youtubers as well okay i gotta do a lot of disclaimers because people like to really uh become like a they like to form cults uh as far as like which youtubers are the best you know it's like wars in the comments sections about which youtubers best you know okay but anyways not this comments other comment sections i'm referring to but number one accuracy dead inside number one in transparency trace trades number two in accuracy is sip trader in my opinion okay this is just what i think all right there's other there's other great youtubers okay i don't know i don't know half the youtubers okay so just keep that in mind all right I will make mistakes. These guys will make mistakes. Everyone will. Do not expect perfection. That is a great rule in the markets. Okay, that is a great rule of thumb. Be careful in the comments. Bitcoin bots are here. Thumbnails. Do y'all like the thumbnails? I know they're a little weird. They're not probably what you guys are used to, but do you like them? What do you think? Okay, don't just say they're good just to make me feel good. Okay, I want the actual. What do you think? Okay, if they look stupid, just tell me. Okay, um, auspicious descent. What does it actually mean? This means conducive to success. This means an unpopular opinion. I truly do appreciate the overwhelming majority of comments, which are extremely positive. Please do not hesitate to call me out on something if I'm missing something. Use several brokers. A couple of advantages. Free stocks with Weeble. In the description, your first deposit has to be $100 or more. I make that very clear in the description, but I'm going to say here for extra transparency, pre-market and after I was trading as well. And you also get to open up a Roth IRA or at least have the option to. Also, follow the stocks you want on Reddit and Twitter. Comment what stocks I need to cover next. Comment any questions and I'll answer them. Or email me. I just got an email that I will be reading soon from someone about some stocks. Okay. Uh, so please feel free. Any questions? Uh, future does not consist of me asking for likes or subs or putting ads in the videos. No, our business model is, uh, our business model is no waste of time, conciseness, high quality information. Not financial advice, <laughs> but, but just, just things to consider when you're making your investment decisions. Not the number one thing, but not, not, not your primary research, but a research tool. Okay. And we, we do not, we do not waste your time before the irrelevant section. This is the irrelevant section that I am away, allowed to waste your time in. And this is basically where you are at my mercy. If you are watching these, okay, essentially, and you can make the, this, the new YouTube standard. Essentially, you can, you can participate in directly affecting this becoming the new YouTube standard. If you support the channel. Um, that's how you can make this new YouTube standard. No ads, no waste of time. That's how you can do it. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, Bionana to the moon. Check the channel banner. Let me know what y'all think. I will see y'all in the next one.